What's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here, back with a new movie. The name of this movie is What if Naruto was banished but he was ahead of everyone and yeah guys, it's an unscripted movie as well. Now before continuing this, I would like to give shout out to Anime Boy 666 for suggesting me this idea. I hope you really like this one and if you do, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And without further ado, let's begin with our story. Our story begins. 13 years after the QB attack in Konohagakure no Sato, as we go towards the current Hokage of the village, Tsunade Senju, as she was walking inside a prison towards the prison cell, as she was there alone. As she reached in front of the set door, but before opening it, she sighed, I hope everything goes well. As she opened the door, and two cold blue eyes pierced at her, Naruto, the council has a summoned you. They finally decided your punishment. Let's go, Bachan. Naruto said as he moved out of the darkness. As there, Naruto stood in front of Tsunade. His clothes were tattered and his hands and feet were shackled. As Tsunade opened the lock herself, when Anbu brought the keys in and healed Naruto somewhat. Better? Yeah, Bachan. Thank you. As Naruto and Tsunade then made their way towards the Hokage office and the council chambers. There they found Jiraiya and Kakashi standing. Don't worry Naruto, everything will be fine. They have to let you free. Hmm. We'll watch for you kid, said Jiraiya. I hope this goes well, says Tsunade. Don't worry Bachan. As everyone smiled and then they entered with a stoic face. To see that inside Sasuke was smirking, as was the civilian council, while the shinobi side looked stoic, and the elders, well, they were also happy for some reason. As Naruto was in the center, as Tsunade took her position as the Hokage and Jiraiya and Kakashi stood behind both of them, and Sakura was also present there as the trial began. As one of the civilians said, now we initiate the trial of Naruto Uzumaki because he hurted the Uchiha sama. First, we would like to ask why would Naruto use such a powerful jutsu on Uchiha sama? From Uchiha sama himself, he is jealous, obviously. I like. I am strong, and Sakura likes me and not him, and that was the only reason. That is a lie. Objection. My defendant said Sasuke's lawyer. Has not finished his statement. I would advise him to stay quiet. Hmm, says Tsunade as Naruto then looked down and sighed. As Sasuke then moved on to tell a bigger lie. Naruto was always jealous of me. He wanted nothing more than for me to be gone. And he even pushed me ahead, protecting himself from Orochimaru, giving me this mark. You know that is a bunch of lie, right? <laughs> This is the truth. Isn't that right, Sakura? But Sakura remained quiet. She looked at Sasuke with disgust. Isn't that right, Sakura? Sasuke asked, more pressurizing. Because he knew that Sakura loved him and will vote for him anyway. And Paul his story. No, Okage-sama, Sasuke is lying. Naruto was the one who was thrown back by a snake summon of Orochimaru. While I was jeopardized, Sasuke offered me instead of himself, but Orochimaru wanted him luckily, and gave him this hickey mark. As Sasuke as Mabuki Harano then stood up, you little brat, why did you change the whole story? Said Mabuki to Sasuke. You told me my daughter was in danger because of that brat, and it was because of you. Mabuki Harano, calm down, this is our trial in session, said Danzo. Hm, wow, talk about your defendant. Thank you, Sakura. No, Naruto. Even though I know, I used to act like a fangirl for him. But this, this I cannot stand against. I will stand for what is right for, because that is what my parents taught me. Even though it means to hurt those who you love. As Sakura looked at Tsunade, as Tsunade smiled and nodded. Thank you, Sakura. You can leave now. Fine then, 
said Sasuke's lawyer because he was not sweating because his first defendant well let's just say didn't go as planned as Naruto then said what else do you want to know other than that now that his story was a lie regardless you heard it the last to Chiha Danza said as many of the civilians smirked because they were now shitting bricks literally and for that you are to be banished your chakra sealed and you are to be stripped from the shinobi rights as Naruto looked at everyone who were smiling at him for a moment and started to laugh outright except for Mabugi who was still enraged as Sasuke gave him a cocky smirk saying that I told you so as Naruto then began to laugh is that all Naruto said wiping away a tear and then gave them his classic smirk as they all flinched knowing fully well that behind that smirk was something planned but they were expecting a prank or something Bachan, you heard them? Yes, the daimyo has agreed to this. Well, the daimyo agreed because I set him to do so, said Naruto. <laughs> do you expect us to believe that? Well, don't believe me, but I am the heir to the Uzumaki and Namikaze clan. Who else the fourth Okage would seal the QB in, right? As then, the clock started to tick inside many of the heads, as Sh Sh Shikaku was the first one. Oh, what a drag, he said. Slamming his face on the decks they were sitting on. Why the fuck didn't we realize this sooner? What's going on, um, Shikaku? Can't you see? Raise the whisker marks is all Minato, and his face is our exact replica of Kushina. I mean, come on. Hmm. As Zunmi then sniffed around Naruto, now you say that he has a faint smell of Kushina and Minato on him. He really is there, pup. But the QB's scent was overpowering it. Well, duh, that is what happens when you become the Jinchuriki of the most strongest Biju when you are an infant. You, you lie, there is no proof. Jiraiya Sensei, Kakashi Sensei, you were both there that night. Yes, what he says is the truth, and Danza knows about it. Regardless, he is not eligible. Well, he is if Sasuke is. And you know what? His father has already passed on everything to him. Each scrolls and the wills of Namikaze and the Uzumaki family are sealed within him as well, alongside the QB, alongside all of the fortune and all of the jutsus. You lie, Danzo said. Ah, you tried to find it, didn't you, inside the Namikaze residence, but you couldn't. That is where it was, Danzo. It has been along with me, my heritage, my everything. I did not need it, you or Konha at the beginning, but I did what my parents asked me to do, give you a chance. Then, when my Didi, it was in Saratobi, looked at you, revealing the secret, you all, well, broke his heart by not fulfilling the death and honor and the last wish of the fallen hero you so cherish. Seeing his son as a hero, you saw him as a demon, as many of the civilians guessed. But that means you own the 60? Yes, now you realize, don't you? 60% of the businesses here. <laughs> All that funding, where did you think it went? Some anonymous user was using it, said the banker from the civilian side. It was you. You could have helped the village, but you... I didn't. Why would I? Gigi agreed with me. Even Jirai Sensei agreed with me. Even my own parents who left a part of their soul who was seeing everything what you did agreed with me. Why should I help those who have not fulfilled their final wish? Hmm? I will not. I'd rather let you die out because I know how corrupt you were. 60% of the income stream. Hmm. Well, that is a lot of chunk. Where did you spend it, kid? Said Jirai. Where else? Rebuilding those Shiogakure. What? Says Tsunade, yes, Bachan. That was a Shiogakure. It's being rebuilt. And wanna know how? Ajutsu was left by my mother. It contained all those Uzumakis who were sealed from Jonin level to Genin level and infants inside this pocket dimension. I released them when it was revealed to me at the age of 10. QB told me everything what it was. Me and QB, as you said, there is no QB anymore. What? You lie! Nard, what do you mean? The QB has transformed. By linking with me, it turned into Juby. What? Yes. 
Nine tails has turned into ten tails box, and it's much more stronger and larger than before. It cannot be contained or controlled. <laughs> Good luck trying to, Danzo. As Danzo gritted his teeth. Oh, did you know that I knew about your route? I already did. My father left some secret notes, and I was the one who gave away all your planning, Danzo. I have everything written down alongside the Hokages, who knew what you did for the Uchiha Shisui clan, as well as Iname Gakure and with Orochimaru. You are a traitor. You were the one who was behind all those experimentations done by Orochimaru by giving them the victims that you kidnapped. You lie. Well, it is the truth, Danzo. Why don't you ask Tanadi some over here? Isn't that right, Bachan? <laughs> what did you expect from Naruto, right? Always the unpredictable one. Naruto is telling the truth. Even Jiraiya can watch for that. Jiraiya was the one who investigated after all after Naruto revealed everything. As Danzo gritted his teeth. Anbu! Kill them, said Danzo. But none of them arrived. Oh, did I forgot to mention I took a detour. And might have murdered all of your Anbus. Because they were going to be quite hectic to deal with later on. As almost all of them felt chills run down their spine. Okage-sama, you cannot allow this to happen. You must execute him for this, said one of the civilian. Why would I? Said Tsunade. He is a clansman. And wanna know a funny thing, right? Mito Uzumaki was alive, and still is. <laughs> she found a way, way before Urchimaru immortality because she knew after the death and fall of the Uzumaki clan, she had to return back to her glorified self. Oh, and she wants to talk to you. Grand Bachan, you can come inside. As a young woman with red hair and two hairpins walked inside with white kimono. It's the Shodai's wife, said almost instantly everyone. As Naruto was bonked on the head by her. Dear child, do you know not to say these words to your elders? Grand grandma? It makes me sound like I'm really old. But you are you old hag. You're hundred years of age. As she was she then punched Naruto straight out of the room as everyone gulped, knowing fully well the tales of the mighty Mito Uzumaki and what she could do single-handedly to the hundreds and hundreds of shinobis. Danzo, you have been a bad boy, and you as well, Koharu, Amura. Both Tobirama and Hashirama would be disappointed. As I am more eligible than you three as elders, I banish you from your duties and discharge you and imprison you for doing this, Danzo. You cannot do that, my lady. You have no power here. You are a foreigner. <laughs> that is where you are wrong. I made Hashirama agree that I am a part of this village, but you are not. That is where you are wrong, my lady, said Hamura. Fine then. As you all know that Uzumaki's own all of the sealing barriers and seals in your village will take all of them. We'll go back to the Shiogakure. Even those who protect the walls that you live in. You cannot do that. It was in treatery, Danzo said. Ah, now you remember the treatery, Danzo. Did you not remember our side of the story? Because that was also included, said Nor uh, said Mito. Why would he? Naruto said. As he looked at three of them, because these three were the ones who gave away the secrets to um both Oto and I mean Iwagakure, Kumogakure and Kirigakure. What? said Tsunade. Yes, they were the ones who were the reason for the downfall of Ushio Gakure in the first place. Did you not think that I will get each and every bit of the evidence from you to put you into dirt when you try to pull me down? And you all, I have so many records on you of what you have done that you will be sentenced for hundreds and hundreds of years of death over and over again and it will not fulfill what you have done. As they all shrunk down, and you Sasuke are the more hypocrite and the idiotic one here. Isn't that right Sakura? Chan, as Sakura came and then hugged Naruto, giving him a kiss on a cheek. What? As Sasuke looked at her with shock. I never really liked you. My, I did have a crush on you, but that ended when the academy ended. When me and Naruto spent time together and he saved me again and again when you left me and used me for your own protection, I fell in love with him. I saw for who he was truly, and he revealed even the juby to me and everything that he was planning. 
as a backup plan that he really needed. You bitch, you betrayed me. You betrayed the village following the Jubi. Oh, is little Uchiha somewhat jealous and scared as the curse mark activated and he was in front of Sakura, but to her to his surprise, Sakura's diamond forehead diamond mark appeared on her forehead and she punched him so hard, sending him outside of the said chambers, crashing on the ground with all mangled up body and different bones broken. As Ino was walking there, as he looked at Ino, Ino help me. Uh, Sakura is putting her plan in motion, isn't she? Ino said with a smile. What? Huh, I never really liked you. I only did that because Sakura liked you. Just to keep her motivated. But what you did, you bastard, you deserve even more. As she spit it on him. Oh, by the way, I like Naruto already. What? You bitch! Come back here! I demand you can demand your ass. Oh, why don't you call for your parents? That's right, they're dead. Dead as hell. I'll get you for this insolence. How? With your mangled up course? What you gonna do? Crawl to me, Sasuke? <laughs> you can't even do that properly, you bitch. You know, said before leaving. As Sasuke was there on the ground with mangled up body parts. As Naruto then said, Oh, I forgot to mention one more thing. Time reversal. As everything reversed and Sasuke was back inside. What? Why am I okay? I have the time manipulation as well as reality manipulation, Sasuke. These two are the strongest Kakegenkais ever to be known, and I'm the only one who can use them. What? Yes, whenever you people tried to beat me and almost caught me, I reversed the time and took the different route. <laughs> it worked like charm, and I never got caught. That is the reason we... Yes, Donzo, that is the reason you never knew where I was, what I was doing. Isn't right, Bachan? Yeah, that is right, Naruto. What's going on here? Well, when I was at the age of 10, I decided to run away. Because Gigi was outside and you people made my life living hell, I couldn't bear it anymore. So I left a blood clone because I could make it and left. And by luck, I stumbled upon Tsunade and Shizure. And she found me crying and asked me if I needed help. More like she didn't, did. she was drunk. Really, Tsunade? Sorry, Bachan. <sighs> We're going to have a talk, young lady. I'm not that young, Bachan. To me, you are. Uh, yes. Naruto, you're gonna get it for this. I'm sorry, Bajan, but please let me finish my story. Continue, says Sonari. And after Sonari healed me, we grew close. I stayed there for one month until Gigi returned. And during that one month, I traveled with her. And she and I grew close, like a real grandson and grandma would. But she's more like a mother to me. Sonari smiled, a mother that I never had. As after that, Naruto then said, I told her what happened and she was enraged and when Yubi took over and revealed the plan that was back up and left by Minato, she agreed after finding out whose son I was, the son of her student Kushina that she thought of as a daughter and Minato, the fourth Hokage. After some time at the age of 12, when I was, well, failing in the academy, I met with Jiraiya, who was returning from another mission to report back to Hiruzen's and start of GD. And I was sitting on the rooftop of the Okage Monument, and that is where we met. And he told me that he was my godfather, and I agreed, and let gone bygones be bygones. He had a spy network to take care of, and I told him to do some missions for me as well, and some things to look into, and he did, and luckily, Konoha was able to avoid great catastrophe. Your daughter, it was planned by the elders, Hiyashi. Your clans and these three fossils over here. What? Yes. And Naruto saved her, by the way. I did not, nor did any Anbus. He, it was you? Yes. And Naruto knows about it, by the way. And that is why she acts like that in front of me. <laughs> Sorry about that. As Hiyashi then nodded and sat down. Wait, you made Sakura and Hinata fall in love with you. Is there any other girls that we need to know about? As everyone looked towards Tsuzumi. What? I'm just curious. 
It's an honest question. Yeah, Naruto. I would also like to know, said Tsunade as well as Mito. Uh, well, you see, I might have quite a bit. Name some, Jirai said as he prepared his notebook. Come on, Erson, and really? It's not the time, even. Now, come on, don't leave a man hanging. Uh, fine, Uncle, Kurenai. What, Kurenai? Isn't she with... No, Asma's gay with four guy. What? Yes. When did that happen? Well, Asma was quite scared to reveal it to his father, so he and Kurenai acted as if they were dating. That's how. Well, in reality, Guy and Asma were dating. I don't even want to know about that. You ruined the mood, Naruto, said Jura. Come on, let me continue, please. Um, where was it? Oh, yeah. Anko, Kurenai, Hana. What? Wait, what? Hana? Y yeah, sorry about that, Sumi san, but. Yeah, one thing led to another and we are kind of, sort of, dating and quite close. After Hana, it was Sakura, then Hinata, and then Ino. Wait, what? Y you are the bastard that my daughter is praying for every night? Uh, sorry about that, Inuichi-sama. Huh, you bad six girls, what more can you can ask for? You have 60% of the whole shops and district here in your name. You have a lot of money and fortune and strongest genes ever to be produced of both the Mikaze and Uzumaki clan. What more can you ask for? This, that he's going to be the new Uzushio Gakure's Kage, the Uzukage. Mito said, what? Well, I'm going to be the Daimyo. Sonata is going to be acting as the current Uzukage. And Naruto is going to be the invading Uzukage. Then who's going to be the Hokage of our village? She can't do that. Well, she can, because Senju's were the one who came from those Umakis. So, they're our sub-clan. They can come with us if they want to. So, not is the head. I would follow Bachan everywhere I can. And me as well, said Jiraiya. You all have lost my loyalty 12 years ago for what you have done and tried to do with Naruto. Even after the death of my student who sacrificed his life, then I questioned myself, what were we fighting for? These people? No, I will never, ever put my life in line for you people. You can go die for all I care. Jiraiya said. As then Kakashi finally talked. What Naruto is saying is true. I was acting as a spy. You thought of me as a puppet, but in reality, I was not. I was my own person and acting as a freely goodwill spy for good old Naruto. I still am loyal to my sensei even more than to this village because he was the one who pulled me out of the darkness that almost consumed me, not you. You took away everything for me. Your village did. My sensei, my father, and my mother. Kakashi said as everyone looked down in shame, realizing what they have done. Oh yeah, by the way, Damio already knew. I already sent him a letter that you are going to do something like that and he should have to agree so that I can leave. Now that I am free, I can leave. What about you, Bachan? I'm going with you, Naruto. What about you, old Bachan? <sighs> You're not going to change that name. Get used to it, Bachan, says Tsunade, because it's the only name that is given to us, old ladies. <sighs> Fine. Let's go, Ersani. Come on, Sakura-chan. Wait, Sakura, where are you going? Mito said. I mean... Mibuki said, I'm going with the person who I love, mom. Wait, are you going to take Hinata as well? Y yes. Hmm, you have my blessing. What about Ino? Was she a plaything to you? No. She was the first one to ask me to buy her rings so that I can propose to her. All of the girls have someone, some or one ring, at least. Hmm. You better take care of her. I will. As after that, Zumita said, Heh. Well, me and Kushinag already have an agreement signed that Hana and her son will marry. Or if she had a daughter, then my son who was going to be born will marry. Thank you. I will. Take care of her. You better. As after that, Naruto opened the door to reveal it was Anko, Kurenai, and even Ino and Hinata there. What are you girls doing here? Um, well, you see, uh, we kind of might have. You were eardropsing, weren't you? Naruto said, 
as he sighed. Yes, we were. We were quite scared for you, Nardakun, said Uncle. I said, Nardakun, calm down. It's alright, girls. Let's go and pack our stuff so we can leave. As all of them left, leaving behind a stunned council. And Narda just returned there. Oh, by the way, Rasengan, Narda said as he smashed it in the ribs of Donzo, killing him with an explosion. That was for what you ki did to my mother. She was alive, by the way. This bastard went and slit her throat. As after finding that out, everyone was even more enraged at Donzo and let him bleed out in front of them and die. As the other two elders didn't help him as well. As suddenly, 80% of Konha's populace were shocked when all of their businesses were sold off. And more likely, the payment went to Namikaze clan household because they were sure that the Namikaze household was no more. And after that, Naruto extracted 100 billion yen from the bank. Leaving it almost empty, it was that much larger. While other clans kept their fortune inside their houses, the Uzumaki Namikaze was the only clan leaving the bank running, and now they have extracted every bit of it, draining the bank dry. And after packing everything, Naruto began to leave. And after Naruto left, the whole village announced what was happening. Since the council was left in charge, the civilians were discharged of it. There were hierarchy now. Only the clans could rule over the land, and they knew how to do it better than anyone as they were now called the Supreme Council of Konoha. As we go towards Fuzishio's doorstep, where everyone, Naruto and the gang and Mito were stopped, as suddenly the portal opened to reveal a door, which was seen as a sage of a river and the ruins of the Shogakure, and inside it was many Uzumakis, as one woman stood in front of all of them. She was Karin Uzumaki, who was rescued by Naruto, when she was brought in by Oto to invade in Konoha. Hello, Karin chan. Hello, Naruto kun, she said as she jumped into Naruto's arms and hugged him. How have you been? I've been good. It's been hard to deal with the elders and all. And the kids are quite energetic. <laughs> That's what we are, Uzumakis are. Some young, energetic guppies, said Mito. What? That was a term that was used when we were young, for little kids. <laughs> well, come inside, Mito-sama. As everyone went inside and cheered for Naruto's and Mito's ass and his return. As after that, everyone celebrated. And in the night time, Naruto was busy with his girlfriends. Mito was busy giving all of them speeches. Sonate was sitting alone, watching at everything with a smile and a look on her face that she did not have for quite a while. As Shizune was also enjoying a hitting on a Nuzumaki meal as Jai sat down next to her. You know, when this was all starting, I did not think that it will end up like this. Aren't you glad, Jai, that it did? I am. I really am. That village has lost my loyalty. When what, what they suggested they should do to an infant kid, and that kid is nonetheless a, of a person who sacrificed his everything, his family, his life, and his time for this village. My loyalty died when my sensei died and these people didn't even appear on his funeral. Only the shinobis did. They did not even miss him or not even regard his word. They disregarded him. They even disregarded your words, Sonare. Well, I never liked them from the beginning. Not after what they did to Don. Sonare, I have a confession to make. What is it, Jiraiya? Don was Orochimaru's and I mean, he was the son of none other than, how can I say this? I don't want to, but I know the image of Don that is created in your head is quite generous and nice, but he was the son of Donzo and so is Orochimaru. What? Yes, and... It was Danzo's plan that he should act good and get close to you to get into the Senju clan. And he was the reason why the Senju clan died out when you were on the mission. Sensei and me knew about this. But luckily he was killed on later on in the battlefield. What? Yes, we found documents. I kept them as a proof. But I never had the will nor the courage to reveal this to you. 
You could have told me, Jiraiya. I mourned for a fucking traitor, a fucking monster for all these years. Well, I could have done something better. I'm sorry, Hime. I never wanted to hurt you. As Sonata started to cry as Jiraiya comforted her. My life was a lie, Jiraiya. No, it isn't. At least you have something here. Who? Me, obviously, you dumb idiot. You wanna get punched? No. Jiraiya. What, Hime? As things got intent, kiss me. As both of them kissed. And one thing led to another. Time skip next morning. Both Jiraiya and Sonate woke up naked. And Mita was standing in their room. Um, uh, sorry, we, are. Uh, it's alright, Jiraiya. And Sonate, as well. Clean up and come downstairs. Why did we act like a couple who's newly dating and act like teenagers? We're adults, for God's sake, says Sonate. But she's my bachan, I have to. As Mito, after exiting their room, sighed and went towards Naruto's room, and it wasn't any better. Naruto was there, laying with Hinata connected to him, both naked, as the other girls were also naked. Oh boy, this boy has such energy. <sighs> Naruto, wake up and get yourself dressed, she said before leaving, hurriedly with her clo eyes closed. As Naruto got up and saw Hinata and everyone blushed madly, as Agoda said, Hey, wanna have morning sex? Uncle, said Kuranai. What? I'm just joking, Nai-chan. As after that, everyone got dressed and came downstairs to have some breakfast. And after that, it was time for Naruto to have an face-to-face -face talk with those Shiogakure's populants. As they were standing in Daozu Tower, which was now being used as Daozu Shiogakure's office, as Sinade was the first Uzukage after the Great Revolution in Daozu Shiogakure. While Konoha was in shambles, Uzushi started to boost up his strength under Sinade's guidance, and everyone listened to her. They started to create an academy, Ian trained Ganins and the Jonins, and those who were elite in them were turned into Wanbos. And Mito trained them personally, as Mito became the elder and Naruto became the Kage in waiting. As after two years passed, Naruto was 15 years of age. Konoha was now nothing more than the shell of its former glory. Even though the council was supreme now, they only looked out for their clans. The populace, the civilians, all left because there were nothing they could do about it. Only those of the civilian council members stayed behind as they knew that they were needed here and the populace was decreased from 100,000 to almost instantly 2,000 people in the village, the civilian populace, while the rest 15,000 were shinobis. While for Uzushi Ogakure, everything was going stable. Some Uzumakis remained civilians while most of them were sh shinobis, but those civilians were also taught how to fight. Seikuri said for Konoichis as well, as it was finally time after two years to reveal the Uzushi Ogakure to the world, and it was revealed in the Kage summit that happened, when six seat was prepared, and to everyone's surprise, Tsunade was sitting on it with the new hat of the Uzukage, and everyone was shocked and and Oniki, A, and Mei were quite surprised, as Naruto was her guard who was staying behind her, and so could be sad for Shizune. As Naruto looked at Kurosuji, was looking at him and winked at her, as she blushed and looked away. As Mei was licking her lips and winked at Naruto, as Naruto chuckled and winked back. As after the meeting ended, Mei came up to Naruto. Can we have a talk? Hmm. Tsunade said, what do you want to talk about? Uh, him. Okay, don't do something that I wouldn't do. Said Tsunade to Naruto with a smile and in a teasing manner as Naruto blushed. Uh, fine, Bachan. As Naruto and Mei went inside her room. As she sat down, so, Naruto. Uh, yes, Mei-sama. What can I help you with? You can help me with a massage. I have been having an aching body. Um, okay, as Naruto started to massage her shoulders, as she moaned, as Naruto blushed even more. Come on, put some strength into it, as Naruto did something much more, and she blushed and was starting to get wet. And one thing led to another, and they had sex. 
Two hours later, and in ten scores and many orgasms later, Naruto and Mei were laying down on the bed, completely naked under the sheets. As Mei was hugging Naruto's chest, you know that was best night of my life. It can be more than just one night stand. If you want to, Mei-chan. What do you mean, Naruto? Are you really going to? But I'm older than you. I don't care. I already have six fiancés. And I'm the heir to the both Namikaze and Uzumaki clan. I need many wives as I can get. But those old girls love me and I love them all equally. I will love you too, Mei. If you give me the chance. I promise. Can I trust you? You can. I promise I won't break your trust. I already revealed everything to you. Why do you think I would lie to you? As, as without another warning, May kissed him back and they had another two hours of intense course. Unknown to both, both of them, Kurtsuji had heard this and she was getting even more wet. Because... She saw how big Naruto was and other than that, how intense this was going on. And after that, the next day came of the second delegating day in the Kage Summit. It went for a week though. As the second day came, Mei and Naruto had gotten close as they spent some time together whenever they were off and generally just freshen up their mind. As that is when one night Naruto was sitting alone. He was approached by Kuritsuchi. Can I talk to you? Uh, yes. You know that your father killed my mother. What? Isn't it the other way around? What do you mean? Your grandfather decided that it was wise to attack a village that was asking him to stay neutral and do not engage. Gave him warnings, but they did not disengage. He was protecting his village. Your mother died a shinobi, fighting for her village while my father lived on. To, as a hero to protect his. Isn't it the same thing? It is, but it hurts. Well, it's not my fault. I know, but... How can I let go of this hatred? Can you tell me? You have any good answer? Yes. My whole village hated me. For something I contained inside. You're... Are you a... Yes, I'm a demon holder. I'm not going to reveal which one. But I am. And for that I was hated since the day I was born. I didn't let go of my hatred loose and destroy the whole village. I mean it is practically destroyed. That was because they were corrupt and they wanted to take away everything, even my heritage from me. And that is something I cannot allow. So I played them like they were just going to play me. As Naruto and Kuritsuji talked, after Kuritsuji calmed down, it was already morning and she slept on Naruto's lap and when she woke up, it was already 10 a.m. And she looked at Naruto, wanna get something to eat? You, you, why you, well I couldn't wake you up, you looked pretty when you were sleeping. And as after that, having breakfast, Naruto returned as Sonata sighed and chuckled at the same time. Another one, uh, might be, as after that. The next week was quite hectic because Mei and Kurtsuchi would hog over Naruto. And finally the day came when both of them requested Naruto's hand in marriage and Tsunade agreed to this because she was the mother figure for Naruto. And Oniki was quite angry and even kicked out his granddaughter from the village. Kurtsuchi cried but Naruto comforted her and brought her in, in the family in Ushio Gakure. Onki later realized what he made a mistake and were regretting it, but it was already too late. Of course, she didn't want anything to do with her grandfather or her family, and she was happy here. And some more time passed by. The guards, Ki on the other hand, were looking for Naruto, and so could be set for Rochimaru. They knew that Naruto resided in Uzushiogakure, but nobody knew where it was. Not even the current villages knew. As for Sasuke. He has prepared himself as he was again back on his feet. No, I will have my revenge, Tobe, says Sasuke as he was practicing with none other than Orochimaru. He escaped again to go near him and this time there was no Naruto, no Kakashi, nobody there to stop him. And he achieved what he wanted, power. My first mission is to was to kill Itachi, but now it is to you. After destroying everything, 
I'll kill Sakura, that bitch, and Ino as well. Followed by everyone you love. And then I go after Itachi. You have just made things personal, Naruto. Hope you're ready for what's coming towards you, says Sasuke. As we go towards the upper level, inside the mirror, to see that four eyes were looking, two eyes were looking at none other than Sasuke Uchiha. They were Orochimaru and Kabuto. Do you think that he's ready? He's mentally unstable, Kabuto, but he's ready. That brat, he played us all. Now, I will have my revenge and outsmart him again. <laughs> and we Oto will have our revenge soon for what he had made us suffer. As for Sunagakure, Tamari also was dating Shika and Gara was best friend with Naruto. Still, even after the Chunin exams, and both of them now even met whenever they could. And one more year passed, and Naruto was now 16, and Akatsuki finally began their plans by setting them in motion. As all of them went after the One Tails, the letter was dispatched, and Naruto arrived there with a red flash and murdered Deidara and Sasori, freeing Belgara and Shikaku from their clutches. And same could be said for Yujito when they came for her. And Yagura was already dead, so Isubu was safe and was revived, so Naruto kept him hidden. The four tails, Son Goku, Iniva, Naruto warned them and they were able to protect him. Five tails as well. The Akatsuki was getting enraged. Whenever they attacked, their shinobi were lost and they were the ones who were at loss, while the others were able to avail them and save them. Zetsu, Itachi, Tobi, Nagato and Conan were the only ones left while the even immortals were killed. As these five attacked the Ushiogakura after tracking it down thanks to Zetsu and Naruto was waiting for them with his mother's katanas and butchered them into nothingness as there was nothing left for them. As two more years passed after that, the, village, the villages, the elemental nations were at peace. But for how long as some other foreign eyes were at it. They were Otsutsukis, Kaguya and the other Otsutsukis. They all landed and demanded their chakra back. And everyone joined forces together as the Anayat Shinobi nations and fought them valiantly. And at the end of the day, they all survived. And the Otsutsuki clan and Kara were destroyed. After the destruction of the Kara and the Otsutsuki clan, the peace was achieved again. And Naruto was celebrating his victory by marrying his love of lives, all of them one year after or so, and enjoying his honeymoon and such when Sasuke and Orochimaru struck again, and this time with Eva and Kumo, well, from the council side at least, because they held grudges and they were butchered down. Nothing was left for them, those who should have fought them valiantly and this time showed them why they were feared. Why the Uzumakis were feared. An order was announced as the next Uzukage and the next second Kage of the village, who was more generous and kind hearted, just ruler than anyone ever seen by the whole elemental nations. Uzushio in his regime grew so longer that it was known as the capital of the whole elemental nations. And the foreigners, whenever tried to wage war, Uzushio was the one who protected all of them. Its wall risen so high, and all of them with chakra coated and seal coated to protect them. Nobody could pass by them, not even titans. As he was passed down as a legend from his generations to generations after that for what he has done and achieved. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this story of guys. I hope you like this one. And if you do, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. As this is Apollo Uchiha, and I'm signing out. Peace.